Tell Me What You Want was another really early song that went through a lot of changes. It's usually my dad that will review a track for me and he shredded me for this, the first version of that song. I think he called it like low hanging fruit or something. And I was like, well, he's right, that asshole. You know, I'm going deep on all these songs. I can't half ass anything at this point. So I rewrote the song and, and that's kind of how the song starts. It's like, I gotta get this off my chest. Love song for myself is such a funny concept. I've like always been my fiercest, harshest critic besides my dad, of course. When I first learned about the whole practice of self-compassion or even what it like was, I just started crying so intensely because I had never even thought about being kind to myself in that way. I've always been like sort of militant, just so harsh, so harsh on myself. That song is just like a, it was just sort of me laughing about that. Like, it's like, well, I don't totally know how to love myself but if I'm a piece of dung, I'm gonna be like the sexiest piece of dung I've ever seen, you know? I, just wanna be there for... I, I don't know why I, I gravitate towards this so much, but I love s sad songs that sound like fun and poppy and I don't know, I, I guess it's just like a different way to tell a story. And sometimes when you feel just so incredibly shitty, the thing that you need most, um, is to gaslight yourself into feeling better. <laughs> and, and that's sort of like, it feels like a gaslight song to me. I'm like, I'm, I'm I, writing a pop song and feeling so shitty and having like everyone sing this message together in an actual chorus. Like it just, it, it was just kind of a perfect little like cherry on top to the whole feeling. Miami was one that it, it came out really naturally. It was just one of those songs that I really needed to get off my chest. I'd been going through a breakup and it sucked. That amidst a lot of other, a lot of other things that just made it such a hard time and it was so isolating and, and lonely. <laughs> You know, when you're going through something painful like that, it's all these emotions are kind of surging through you at the same time, and but it's such a release. It's one of those songs where you're like, I, I just gotta purge this thing that's inside. Just it needed to be released. It's like a beast in a cage.